Hello and greetings. My name is Safri and now I will be presenting the Advanced Reservoir Simulation Lab. The, the first question is how fluid properties are affecting production performance in this model. All fluid properties are being input in the prop section. For example, PVT data such as solution gas oil ratio, formation volume factor, viscosity, compressibility, saturation and density. In addition, special core analysis lab data is also being included such as relative permeability and capillary pressure. This is an equation regarding radial fluid flow where viscosity is inversely proportional with the fluid flow. Thus, fluid property also affects the production performance of the model. Next, how reservoir characteristics are affecting production performance in this model. If we take a look at the grid section, several reservoir characteristics that need to be input includes porosity, permeability, and NTG. Porosity and NTG is directly proportional with the grid cell pore volume. In addition, NTG and permeability is also directly proportional with the transmissibility. Thus, by changing the reservoir characteristics, we will not only affect the calculation for original oil in place, but also the production rate. In conclusion, reservoir characteristics thus affects the production performance of the reservoir model. Continuing with the next slide, the third question is, what are the benefits to have a simulation model? First and foremost, a simulation model allows the visualization of reservoir where engineer could observe if fault, syncline or anticline is present in the reservoir. Secondly, a simulation model also allows the distribution of static and dynamic information. This is important in choosing the best candidate for well placement. Thirdly, simulation model allows the production forecast which could help the engineer to estimate the economic life of a well or a field. Moving on, the fourth question is what are the limitations of reservoir model? First, the simulator cannot extrapolate by itself. The user must define the endpoint by himself so that the simulator could interpolate as seen here in the slide. Second, even though upscaling could help to reduce the computational time, it will affect the accuracy of the simulation model. As seen here in the reservoir model, the stop value for fine grid model is 108 million STB, whereas the stop value for cost grid model is 140 million STB. Last but not least, the fifth question is which part you could not understand at all. For me, I personally did not really understand the history matching part. My questions regarding this part includes what parameter that could be altered? Next, shouldn't changing the parameter will affect the stoic? And lastly, what is the guarantee that the mesh data will produce an accurate production forecast in the future? That is all from me. Thank you for listening.